Hey YouTube, it's Ashley here again, aka Bobby Rhodes. But um, I'm not here about that. I'm here today for a hoe that used to be my best friend. I used to live in Massachusetts and Florida before she came back to Pennsylvania, Middletown, um, to date my ex. That she was apparently dating for two months. Funny. Hmm? Well, she's still in a relationship with her so-called fiance. She was with for six, five, six years. And the funny thing is, is that um, she told me, "Don't worry about." It. That she was not going to like legit be with my ex. Not to worry about. It. And she wondered why her so called fiance that she's pregnant by with twins that she wasn't allowed to talk to my ex. Is she still talking to my nigga when he and I were still dating? Funny thing is, um. Bits, please. You've been lying to me since day one ever since I told you that he and I had problems. You told me that your man was talking to my ex, which was my boyfriend at the time, about trying to get to know how he is, to see what he was doing with me, or what he was trying to do with me. Bits, please, we know so, and I, with you. And you told me that you had no interest with him, you're talking shit about him bitch please you're stupid again like i said is that um we all know who's a liar we all know who's a fake we all know of course who's a whore and a cheater around here and it's far from me bitch Look at me. Am I not better looking than you? I can care less on my ass that nigga. Cause this bitch knew she could live without him. She just wanted him out of her fucking life. My right, bitch, please. You're lying to me. So you ain't gonna date that nigga? You're lying to me that my so called ex did not know you moved. That he was the last one to know? Bitch, please. I bet you that nigga was the first one that knew. Out of everybody but your family. Bitch, please. Get that fucking ass out. Get a job. Stop living off your parents' paychecks or your ex fiance's paychecks. What kind of love? I might not have a job right now, but at the end of the day, my last paycheck is stressing. Or it has been stretched out. Oh so, yeah. yeah. I still got five hundred dollars that I didn't use on your fucking fake ass niggas. That's using your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny how you said you don't like that nigga. That as I say, you're making fun of how he looks at your so called fiance looks better than you. Or was that like two? As a matter of fact, you're just a full bucket full of lies. And to be honest with you, I knew you liked my ex. I knew you were talking to him to get into his pants. To lie to me. And you over here up on my Facebook saying that, oh, what did I say? Oh. That you're one of my realest friends out there. And you told me to delete my two best friends off of my Facebook. Because you're the realest. <laughs> Bitch. Try again. Like I said. Try again. Because at the end. <laughs> at the end of the day, bitch. You lied. You're a fake. You're a whore. You're a fop. Ain't nobody ruining your reputation but you, bitch. Ain't no way I told you to date my ex. Yeah, I told you not to, so they don't get hurt. But at the end of the day, 
that nigga might be on with you for like what five months that's it but he'll leave you for another bit mm -hmm. he's been doing that since he was ninth grade bitch so yeah um, know the facts bitch before you know or did you know that we all knew each other since 2012? <laughs> Bitch, please. Ain't no Hershey Park love here, bruh. Not in fact. At least I ain't got no fucking big brown mark on my nose. That's a birth mark. At least we know where Mount Everest is at. So, in the day, like I said, you're no match for me. Neither is my ex, Lewis. In Harrisburg, that's apparently a fake blood. A fake Latin king. That's a mama's boy that doesn't even want to try getting a job to live on his own. He wants to be in his mom's house until he's 30 years old. Bitch, please. He's just with a guy that don't know what he wants with his life. Besides living with his money's mother's well. <laughs> that nigga was supported by me. He got food. Um, his daughter's in my living room. That, oh, I forgot. That, our name brand. Jordan's, of course, a name brand. But in the day, like I said, to everyone else that knows about it now, that, how I say it? He got $300 pair of new sneakers in my bed. That's under my bed. Weed super all over. Black and green. <laughs> and white. Fantastical. What's up, about Sipping back tomorrow. Oh, I forgot tomorrow Sunday. I'm on Monday. But now, like I said, is why? Why should you support a fucking nigga that don't want to work? Apparently, he got a warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> nigga, he got a whole nother thing coming because that's a fucking lie, too. Just like one that you told me you're in jail. <laughs> I called up every single holding cell from Lebanon County to Dolphin County. Nigga. I lied. Nigga. 